President, please be seated. The chamber is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. So the, pro the proceeding will continue on the armed conflict discussion. concernant la question du conflit armé. Before I hand the floor to Judge Lavange, Avant de laisser le juge I would like ses to questions. inform the parties and the public, les et le public that the testimony of witness KW09, which was scheduled que la déposition du témoin KW09 Today, qui était prévu pour aujourd'hui. However, based on the rescheduling of the hearing time, the chamber consider it's not possible to hear the testimony of the KW09 today because the discussion étant donné on the current fact takes longer than expected. Que la discussion sur les questions actuellement examinées a pris plus longtemps que prévu. And this witness testimony will be rescheduled at a later date. date sera fixée pour la déposition when it comes de ce to the facts on the operation of S21 and G8. Dans le contexte du fonctionnement de la situation 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 de la 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 de de la 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 la de de la de de la de la de la de la de la de la de Est-ce que vous pouvez nous rappeler la date exacte à laquelle Son Sen a quitté Phnom Penh et à partir de laquelle vous avez été en lien avec l'oncle Noon This is a, a strange matter. C'est une question étrange. Therefore, I remember both the locations and the date that I étrange, went to see Uncle Noon. Je me souviens donc des circonstances et de la date de cette rencontre avec Oncle Noon. It was on the 15th August 1977. And it was at the Saramaret Buddhist Institute. Et ça, ça, ça passé à l'Institut Bouddhique Saramaret. It was not on the ground floor, but it Pas was at the upper floor. Mais à l'étage supérieur. So this is my response. Thank you. Parce que je peux vous dire. Je ne souhaite pas avoir des détails, simplement Judge la date. Et j'aimerais aussi que vous me disiez si vous aviez connaissance des raisons pour lesquelles Sun Sen a quitté Phnom Penh et où est-il allé et qu'a-t-il fait à ce moment-là The accused, Your Honor, first, I was not sure of the direction he went either to make much to organize the forces. Il devait organiser les forces.
However, later on, he called Comrade Ho to defend his office. And later on, he telephoned to me from Nhat Lương, so it means he was based in Nhat Lương at the time. Il avait à ce moment-là sa base à Nhat Lương. So that was what I knew. Voilà ce que je sais. Où est située cette base exactement? Where is that base located exactly? Mình chỉ bắt tay, bắt lấy chiếc máy chân kế, ti tăng mũi để xem khán. The accused. The clear location when he called me was at Nhat Lương. Il m'a appelé de Nhat Lương. Your Honor, you you know that Nhat Lương was on the way on the National Nhat Road Number One along the Mekong River. Ah, sur le bord du Mekong. Donc. Est-ce qu'on peut dire que c'est à proximité de la frontière vietnamienne Vietnamese-Cambodian border. We have two more provinces before we reach the border. Nhat Lương is located in the Kondal province. Se trouve dans la province de Kondal. And we have to cross the Mekong River and then the Preveng province. Et ensuite la province de Preveng. And next, puis we will reach the Vietnamese territory. Seulement on arrive au Vietnam. Tam Khom, Tam Khom Samat Nhat Lương, mình đang mở rồi. From what I can estimate, Nhat Lương is not Nhat Lương more than 100 kilometers from Phnom Penh. 100 kilometers de Phnom Penh au plus. Ah, au plus. It is less than 100 kilometers from Phnom Penh. Mais moins moins 200 kilometers de Phnom Penh. Alors, une autre question sur un sujet différent. On a parlé tout à l'heure des interrogatoires des prisonniers vietnamiens. Vous avez indiqué que ces interrogatoires étaient principalement réalisés par un interrogatoire qui s'appelle Mamnai. Il y a au dossier un certain nombre de confessions qui sont rédigées en français. Confession de prisonniers vietnamiens. Est-ce que vous êtes au courant de l'existence de ces confessions en français et qui rédigeait ces confessions en français The person who could write the French language is a Vietnamese person. He was a lieutenant. He was a, a government soldier of the South government, South Vietnamese government. And his name is Hu Ding Ngao. He is called Hu Ding Ngao. He and he knew French and English. Le français et l'anglais. And I think it was only him who wrote the French version. Avoir rédigé ses avis en français. Je pense qu'il y a plusieurs confessions, mais ce n'est pas un problème majeur. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à l'accusé. Your Honor, I have no further questions for the accused. Thank you. President. For the next session, the chamber would give the floor 
to the parties to put questions regarding the armed conflict. However, before I do that, I would remind all the parties that the fact to be put for discussion before us is about armed conflict. That is the armed conflict between the Democratic Cambodia and the Socialist Republic Socialist of Vietnam during the time that the Democratic Cambodia controlled the country from the 17 April 75 until the 6 January 1979. And the second reminder is that it is the Chamber's observation that the timing for the trial has been delayed and extended. In fact, the scheduling for the hearing of the two testimonies of the two witnesses have been delayed due to the time took for the discussion on these two facts. So let me remind all the parties that the facts of the armed conflicts need to be cleared and differentiated from the operation of S21. And in fact, when it comes to the relevancy of the armed conflict and the result of such conflict at S21, you have to uh, be sure that the Vietnamese prisoners of wars at S21 have been questioned by Judge Carrice to the accused already. So fundamentally, in general, the accused already responded to this part of the question, and the information is acceptable for us for other matters related to the treatment on the fact will be discussed in details regarding the facts on the operations of S21 and June 8, which will come after the facts on the armed conflict. So all the parties who will pose the question to the accused need to be mindful and concentrate on the precise questions related only to the armed conflict and not go into the details of the operation of S21, although it might be relevant to the Vietnamese people who were sent to S21. We can discuss the detail on this matter when it comes to the following fact. I would like now to give the floor to the co-prosecutor. If you have any questions to be put regarding the facts to the accused. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Kang Kek Il, uh, you yesterday you said that uh, the conflict between Cambodia and Vietnam it was a chronological and very uh, bitter uh, war. Uh, was it a policy of the CPK then? Yes, it is true. It was a uh, political line that we understand it is true. Question. Uh, did you are aware about the fighting between the two armies, the accused? I knew that for sure. It was a war. It was after the 6th of January. That was the date I know. Uh, the prosecutor. Uh, uh, did did you know that the Vietnamese uh, soldier invaded Cambodia? Uh, response. response. Uh, the Vietnamese troop invaded Cambodia. It was actually a war. It was after uh, 6 January 1978. Question. Uh, what was your view uh, 
uh, in relation to the invasion by the que Vietnamese troops at that time. Invasion du Cambodge par les troupes vietnamiennes. Uh, response. I uh, say to uh, Judge Cartwright of the trial chamber that uh, between Cambodia and Vietnam, it was a kind of fighting back and forth. Uh, they fought against us, and then they uh, we fought against them. I thought like that at that time. Uh, question. Uh, do you have a feeling that you hate those Vietnamese troops? Response. Uh, this matter, it was my feeling then. However, uh, the matter that I can recall and I remember all the times, it's a, a problem that we, we were in a quarrel. We fight them, and they fight against us. As I, uh, uh, when we listen to the testimony by Nayan Chanda, uh, it was a chronic uh, matter. If it was the, the Indochina political line, the mastery uh, line of Pol Pot, uh, it's, uh, it will die in Cambodia. So I informed uh, to you it was a, a chronic uh, dispute and it is a uh, fierce uh, quarrel. But it was in the case uh, 002. After 1954, Leijun was also, uh, he considered himself, himself as the father of the Indochina. And then Pol Pot himself would like to have the party so that he can have the same level as the Vietnamese uh, party and uh, equi equivalent to the Laos party and equivalent to the Marxist-Leninist party in the world. That, that was my understanding, and I hate that situation. There was no particulars. Uh, I only know that uh, they kill Cambodians, and we also can kill the Vietnamese. Uh, uh, question, you said that Pol Pot uh, wish to have the Communist Party of Cam uh, Cambodia to have the equivalent uh, level as other Kampuchea parties. Uh, was there any statement by Pol Pot in relation to this uh, matter? Sur cette question? The accused, uh, the statement, it is the practice of Leninists uh, in uh, the world. They never made any non. statement. They kept it as a confidential. Il garde ce genre de uh, question, because question. I see that uh, one statement of Pol Pot Il existe une déclaration de Pol Pot uh, on the 17th of uh, January 1978. Uh, Track from the speech of uh, Pol Pot, who was the secretary of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, and he uh, mentioned about. Et dans cette, uh, dans ce discours, he said that uh, they committed in a in a rude and cruel and ah, invaded. And it is believed to be uh, the father of the Indochina and also the big brother of Indochina. And uh, they declared themselves to the public that uh, the small uh, people in Indochina uh, shall respect them and under uh, their orders and the documents uh, uh, are in in Khmer. Zero, zero. 22, 22, 48, 47, 2, 22, 2, 4, 8, 5, 2, 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 8, 5, 2, 0, 0, 22, 0, 0, 0, 0, Eight six seven one two zero 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 
0078 à la deuxième page de la version Khmer. Did you know about this statement? On peut lire ce que je vous disais. Est-ce que vous avez connaissance de ces déclarations de Paul I responded to your question. I remember to the story of happened before the 31st of December 1928. So I heard or I read, at least I heard on the radio. Thank you that you make this question to me. Je vous remercie d'ailleurs d'avoir posé cette question. The prosecutor, um, question. during the uh, control of the DK, uh, did you know about the armed conflict between uh, DK and Vietnam? So how many phases and stages of that conflict did you know of that? Uh, could you raise only the main point of the conflict? The accuse. Uh, 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 Mr. Prosecutor, as I uh, men mentioned again and again before Judge Cartwright, that there were only two uh, phases. Uh, the first one is from the 17 April 1975 until the 6th of January 1978. Yes, so, so I uh, very uh, interested in that date uh, during uh, that period. Uh, so we can use the term in Khmer. Uh, we uh, uh, talk of war conflicts. So it is kind of uh, fighting each other. But when we look into the story in itself, uh, the Cambodians uh, sneak uh, into Vietnamese to, to conduct espionage, and then uh, they send their agent uh, to Cambodia, but there was a, an arrest back and forth, and they came into Cambodia, and they uh, take uh, any information or spy against us, and they uh, another case that they uh, want to remove the uh, boundary poles and so on. So I uh, would like to tell you that I forget uh, some uh, information, but uh, the politics, uh, it's the most uh, leading issues. And they want to take us as part of the uh, Indochina Federation. It was a conflict between Pol Pot and Le Jung. This is uh, the core of the matter. It, I'm not referring to the secretary of the Vietnamese uh, Communist Party. It was a a very tough uh, quarrel between Pol Pot and Le Yun. So um, they want uh, to get the Cambodia as the one of the federation of the uh, Indochina, and Pol Pot want to be independent. So I uh, did not follow uh, the small uh, conflict in the lower stage. So I, uh, it is the true that um, the document I noted on, uh, the document that Judge Cartwright uh, showed me. Uh, question, uh, did you know about the plan of using the force to move the Vietnamese out of Cambodia? Because in a document, uh, the black paper uh, produced by the Cambodia uh, Democratic Cambodia, pages 64, 65, uh, said that the uh, Communist Party of Cambodia uh, requests that the Vietnamese to move out uh, before uh, 1975, and all of them should be, uh, all of them uh, should be uh, moved out in June 1975, and it also mentioned that it's only a small number of Vietnams uh, left Cambodia. And in that case, the Communist Party of Cambodia sent its troops to force those Vietnamese out of Cambodia. Uh, did you uh, know about that uh, fact? Uh, the accused, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, I uh, do not know that, as I told you, uh, I, I told uh, Herring yesterday, I saw that black book uh, until 1983. So about uh, the conflict, about the force, uh, or the forcing out of the people of Vietnamese, I have no idea.
the, uh, the prosecutor uh, based on uh, uh, your uh, indication that you attend the, the meeting with the senior leader. Uh, did they raise anything about the armed conflicts uh, of uh, the democratic Cambodia with the neighboring countries? Le Cambodia démocratique et les pays limitrophes. Uh, Mr. Prosecutor, I never attended uh, such a meeting, and uh, the su superior asked me to work, and they need to recommend, instruct me to do uh, the work at S21. I, I need to use this work to, to do the work. And the study session, yes, I did. And they are talking mostly about the conflict uh, between Leon and Pol Pot about the uh, uh, mastery political uh, line. And these are um, in the study session um, regarding uh, the matter that uh, they asked me to do the work uh, in S21, so they instructed me to do uh, the right work, and this is the wrong work. The prosecutor, uh, yesterday you said that you attended in the session in which Pol Pot was the presenter, and you said that uh, Pol Pot uh, uh, mentioned about the uh, uh, democratic Cambodia troop uh, victory over the Vietnamese troops. Is it true? Uh, you said that the accused. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, the accuser. As uh, I call it, as a uh, the meeting to uh, appreciate the victory of the um, uh, the army in the 6th of January. It was me alone attending uh, that meeting uh, uh, them. Uh, the prosecutor, when you heard uh, about the conflict, um, and uh, uh, did uh, you take this information uh, to uh, disseminate among your subordinate and staff. Uh, the accused, uh, what I heard from the secretary of the party to me, uh, I am the member of the uh, S21 committee. I took that uh, message and send to the subordinate and S21. It is a slight rule that I have to follow. Question. Uh, was there any senior leader uh, when to um, conduct any training or study session at S21? Uh, the accused, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, uh, you asked me that whether or not the senior leader uh, went to conduct a uh, training session. Uh, I think that you uh, referred to the a member of the standing committee. Yes, there was only one, uh, Mr. Somsen, uh, who went there on the 24th of uh, uh, April 1977. Um, the question, uh, question, did you know why and what was the topics of the uh, study session? The accused, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, uh, Son Sen went there. It's not really a teaching, but in fact, he chaired the annual, annual uh, meeting of uh, S21 uh, to learn uh, the opinion or the views of the sub subordinate regarding my leadership. It was a uh, annual uh, congress of uh, S21. It's not a normal political training session uh, uh, question. As uh, you said, uh, Son Sen has no, had no program uh, to, to teach uh, other than what you said. Is it correct? The accused. Uh, Mr. Prosecutor, it, is, it was a normal annual uh, meeting. It was uh, next to Borekela. It's uh, in the building like the boat uh, roof. 
and the 24th of uh, April 1977, he went to uh, S21 to chair the uh, general uh, meeting of the S21 committee. Uh, question. Uh, yesterday, you said that the uh, Communist Party of Cambodia maintain and continue uh, maintain that conflict uh, as confidential. Uh, did you know uh, what was the purpose of uh, this regime for not uh, disclose that conflict to the public? De ne pas divulguer ce conflit au public? The accused. I analyze and I uh, conclude. It, it is my assumption to you. I assume that the conflict uh, between the two Madlenist uh, uh, party, they have to struggle and solve in secret. But uh, the, uh, I can say it's a uh, political, um, the, uh, political class and um, military, they kept that as uh, confidential. But after the war broke and then they issued statement. I believe that it is the practice of the two Marxist Leninist uh, parties in the neighboring uh, country. Co-prosecutor, you said that Sun Sen went to stay at Nhat Luang. Did you know what was the purpose for him to stay at Nhat Luang? The accused, I did not know. I did not really know. It was uh, related to the military matters. Let me add to that. My superior left Phnom Penh to stay outside. Normally, I knew that he stayed at Nhat Lung, but the S21 documents and the confessions which were sent to Uncle Noon, I saw the notation of him until the 11th of November 77. So he still led the work at S21. This is based on the surviving documents at S21, so I did not know how he managed his work. Co-prosecutor, yesterday you said occasionally Sun Sen would telephone you, and during the time that he telephoned to you, what was the objectives of his telephoning? Did he tell you about the, any conflict with Vietnam during the time that he called you? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, my superior rang me and asked me it importantly on the follow-up of the work at S21. When my superior met me, he asked me about the work and to give instruction on the work regarding the matters at the battlefield or the political matters that would be presented for the annual session. So the meeting in such a way is to follow up on my work and to give instructions on my work regarding the Vietnam and Cambodia conflict or the Cambodia with any other country such as Lai would be presented during the annual session, study session. Co-prosecutor, were you aware that the Vietnamese soldiers who were captured at the battlefield, uh, where were they sent? The accused, uh, I did not know. This is my frank endroit. answer. Um, I didn't know how many people were smashed at the battlefield, battlefield or how many were sent to me, and some might be sent uh, to other locations. I was not sure. Front, et combien de personnes étaient envoyées dans d'autres centres et euh, Vietnamese soldiers who were sent to S21, what were their conditions? Question. Quelle était la condition the accused, I did not see them des, personally. Euh, soldats vietnamiens envoyés à S21. L'accusé, 
Je ne les ai pas vus de mes propres yeux. Yesterday, you told le Judge Cartwright that you are staffed, ah, staffed ah, used to go and transport the Vietnamese prisoners on two occasions to Svay and to Kampong Cham. Those who went needed to receive your order and also with a travel permit. Uh, recevoir At that ordres, time, did you, whom did you order to transport the Vietnamese soldiers who were voyage. captured? Um, the accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, um, on this matter, I reported already to Judge Cartwright. Est-ce que vous donniez de tels ordres? Let me hier, further add to that. Donné des However, is it the same wording? The special travel permit on the two special occasions were for traveling out of S21, and they were only on two occasions. And the directions to transport the Vietnamese soldiers, I was not sure whether it's on road number seven or road number one. I was not clear on that. Un transport par la route numéro sept ou la route nationale numéro un. But. There were two special travel permits used, and for the remaining, we only waited to receive those uh, people, those soldiers from Kamrat Lind. Uh, Co prosecutor, reste, my question is whom did you order to go and transport Lynn. those people? The accused. Once I receive such order, I would order Comrade Hoy to, to implement it. And I never order directly to them. I only order Comrade Hoy to order his subordinates. So I only made indirect orders. The co-prosecutor. So it means uh, you did not. Uh, Le participate with Ho, vous n'avez pas participé the accused avec les Ho de did Ho. not go. Ho, réponse de l'accusé, n'est pas order, parti. My order was indirect, Mais so of Ho might appointed or order Ho to go. Ho never dared to Hoyt leave his place. Pour, the uh, co-prosecutor, who authorized the special travel permit? Uh, accused, for the special travel permit, pour, uh, se I did not want to talk about the origin of the travel permit, je ne parle but pas the, de initially the travel permit was assigned to me, permis, and when the operation was finished, I handed it back to Sunset personally, but for the second time, it was a bit difficult. They organized, and almost it's time for the departure. Then I went to receive this special travel permit at the Prehoni Wong before the 7th factory. When I returned, I telephoned immediately and asked Comrade Pond, the messenger, to receive the special travel permit back. So we dare not to keep the special travel permit longer at the S21 because there is one prohibition for the special travel permit. It means search was not allowed for the vehicle bearing the special permit. En fait, ces permis permettaient de, de jouir d'un droit particulier, à savoir que euh, on n'avait pas le droit de fouiller les véhicules on the qui présentaient ce permis. That your le staff went out to transport the Vietnamese soldiers. How many of them were transported by to S21? Euh, Transporter des soldats vietnamiens S21. Combien de soldats s'agissait-il? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Accusé, Monsieur le Co-Procureur. Uh, we did not go and make any arrest. Nous ne pas allés we went to receive them, and Nous they were already arrested. Les yes, I already informed Judge Cartwright yesterday, and I was not sure which direction we went to transport them, either to the border area or to Battenborn. So I did not know uh, where we used the special uh, travel permits to go to. So I am not clear. Uh, je ne sais pas bien. And probably it can be clarified when Comrade Hoyt comes to testify. Comrade so you are not sure on the number of prisoners that you received. Le co-procureur, donc vous n'êtes pas sûr du nombre de soldats. The accused for such detail, I cannot remember. L'accusé, je ne me rappelle pas de telles informations. Do you know 
why the special travel permit was stopped. For what reason? Pourquoi son émission the a accused. été arrêtée I was not sure raison. of the reasons, la but I can conclude that the special travel permits have a lot of authority because the vehicle bearing it were not allowed to search. So they did not trust the S21 to hold des droits, the permit euh, longer. Tout à fait particulier. Et donc, S21 ne pouvait pas détenir de tels permis, nous devions rendre ce permis. At that time, did you request to your superior à to, que vous avez for the issuance of the special travel permit? À vos, à vos supérieurs, l'émission d'un tel permis. I cannot recall it. L'accusé, je ne peux me rappeler de cela. Co-prosecutor, can you recall which que vous sections or units quelle section, quelle who sent the Vietnamese Prisoner, Vietnamese soldiers to S21. Vietnamien S21. The accused. L'accusé. It was Comrade Lin's group. C'est du groupe du Comrade Lin. From the 870 unit. De l'unité 870. In general, did you know how many days général, did they sent the Vietnamese prisoners to S21 after the 6th of January 78. It was irregular. It depends on the activities at the battlefield. How frequently was it? L'accusé, cela dépendait des activités au front. The Le procureur we um, might say à, des, à, quelle, à quelle fréquence anyway, I cannot recall it. L'accusé, je it could be in a week's time or in a fortnight uh, or the short test is in five days tous les 15 jours, the co-prosecutor um, can you recall when there was a transfer of the Vietnamese soldiers in large uh, number the prisoner of war the accused I cannot recall probably we can use the list as evidence uh, if you give me the evidence probably I can add up which months that we receive uh, those prisoner of war des éléments de preuve, on Co arrivera à déterminer quels étaient les mois où il y avait le you plus de prisonniers vietnamiens transférés. The method of interrogation vous avez dit que vous avez enseigné la méthode d'interrogation d'interrogatoire. Comment avez-vous appris les méthodes de l'interrogation Comment avez-vous appris les méthodes de Avez-vous appris Or from whom? les méthodes ou à partir de the qui, qui vous a enseigné les méthodes d'interrogation the Vietnamese prisoners L'accusé. Was the person La personne qui m'a enseigné I assigned since the establishment of S21 that was rather more night. There was no special training. Just sent the prisoners to him to interrogate. But he was taught the uh, Vietnamese language. Et with uh, on lui à parler vietnamien ha ha avec the co-prosecutor. Did you instruct your investigator to write the Vietnamese language and to tape the voice for radio broadcasting or to use during uh, various other meetings? Utiliser ces enregistrements dans le cadre de diffusion radiophonique ou bien I dans le cadre de réunions de formation. I did instruct the based on the instructions from the superior aux interrogateurs. Ces instructions m'étaient transmises par l'échelon supérieur. Co le coprocureur. You said vous avez you dit selected mom night vous avez to sélectionné Mom pour qu'il interroge les soldats vietnamiens. Et pour quelle raison For such selection. Les accusés. Vous sélectionnez. First, Accusé. tout d'abord, his understanding is hide so his uh, literature background is hide he got a certificate in Mais his study Vietnam, so it was better to use him than any other people d'études et il pouvait um, utiliser cette connaissance prosecutor yesterday you also le told judge card rice that at s21 there were filmings il y avait what were What was the filming for? Is it for the degrading purpose or to put more burden or guilt on the Vietnamese prisoners? And who ordered such filming? 
l'université les méthodes de sélection c'est le style de lire encore plus les the, the great league are the promotion like uh, it's hard for me to say but let me describe how uh, the filming was done um, the, when the Vietnamese soldiers arrived in uniform Lorsque at the gate they took off their, their cap and Post, post, uh, in, a salute, in a salute gesture Ils arrivaient, les soldats and to et nous pay respect to the Communist Party of Cambodia and to present their name, their rank et and, and that they invaded Kampuchi the Cambodian territory. This rang. is how the filming was done at the location near my house, near Street 95. That was the filming done. And the filmmaker was Kamra Thay, Elias Poul, the nephew of Paul Bot, who Kamara went to study Poul filming in, in China. Selection. And the person who, who took Kamra Thay to do the filming was Kamra Pong. So only when Kamra Pong bring him, then S21 would accept, otherwise S21 would not accept it. Although he was Thay, Without the accompany Bien. of Pong, he would not be allowed to do the filming at S21. So some scenes uh, were filmed at my house at Street 95, and then the filming also took place near the bushes, near the Mao Zedong Boulevard, and near the Mohammed Trai Street, to show that the Vietnamese soldiers raised their hands to the feet. Co-prosecutor, who ordered such filming? Can you tell us? The accused. It was Uncle Noon, but it was not his direct order. He must have received the order from uh, Brother Paul, the co-prosecutor. In the D65 document, you acknowledge that there were confessions of Vietnamese uh, female prisoners who were broadcast on the radio what were the roles of the, the female prisoners and what were the confessions of those female prisoners about? Can you recall the accused? It was a Khmer prisoner who went to live in Vietnam and who can speak Vietnamese language. She was also implicated in espionage activity so the filming, the, the taping was first to show that in Vietnam there was no food to eat, there was starvation and the people there could sing about being hunger, being in hunger, that's what I can recall because it was quite strange to me that there was a, about a song in the confession co-prosecutor Were you aware that in general the confessions you received from the Vietnamese prisoners were they all real? The accused. The confessions for the broadcasted to be broadcasted on the radio were the ones that we that we amended, that we checked, that we wanted them to be broadcasted. Was it true? As the co-prosecutor. Uh, it was what we wanted based on our objective. So that means they were forced to confess to the way that you wanted as the co-prosecutor, the accused. If we wanted them to say that the Vietnamese soldiers were starved and could, did not have any food to eat, they had to say that in their confession. The co-prosecutor in the Nayan Chandra's book at page 287 in the Khmer language, it was written that on the 10th of May 1978, the Phnom Penh radio broadcasted a strange message appealing to kill the Vietnamese people and the eradication inside the, the DK military rank. What was Democratique done was only the statistics. Et ce qui a été fait Each combatant in our rank hates to kill Vietnamese. 
Vietnam. Hate to kill 30 Vietnamese people. Were Chaque you aware of that? Du Cambodge démocratique devait tuer the accused. Uh, 30 Vietnamiens. The each combatant had to kill 30 Vietnamese uh, combatants. Tuer. As they call, as they, they accused, one combatant had to kill 30 ah, Vietnamese combatants. That was a quote from the Nayan Chanda's book, and this message was broadcasted by the Phnom Penh Radio on the 10th of May 76. Did you listen to that uh, broadcast, or were you aware of that information? The accused. I did not, or I rarely listened to the radio. However, from my recollection, I was not sure whether this source was from the study session or not, that each combatant, if each combatant can kill 30 Vietnamese combatants, it is a great success. The co-prosecutor, Mr. President, uh, if we look at the time, I think it's not time for the break, and I still have uh, some more questions. Maybe it might take uh, 10 minutes. Would you permit me to continue, or we need to adjourn? The President, Judge Cartwright, the floor is yours. The President, Judge Cartwright, I beg you. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I, I just Merci, want Monsieur to um, emphasize what the President said earlier uh, uh, about um, uh, the need to confine the questions que to those that are relevant to this topic. Uh, and I would like to say that I believe that um, many of the questions that have been asked just now um, have already been the subject of um, examination uh, and that the accused has already answered them. So could I add my voice to the President's in asking that we confine the questions, please, so that there is no repetition uh, or irrelevancy. Um, thank you. Mr. President, now it is time for adjournment. The chamber will adjourn for lunch break. And we will resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Nous reprendrons à 13h30. Security officer, take the accused back to the waiting room and bring him back to me for 1.30 p.m. this afternoon. All the parties are reminded to return at the appropriate time.